Officially, EVENG does not list Quemu as a supported platform, but it does not list it as unsupported either. Can we run it without installing VMware? Let's find out. I have Quemu and Vert Manager installed, so I just need to head over to eve-ng.net and download the Community Edition. The OVF option is not the correct format, but we can convert it and it will be faster than installing from ISO. I also need to get the Linux client side because without it I won't be able to manage the nodes we create in EVE-ng. I will just run the install script. Next, I can use the quemu img convert command to turn the eve image into the quemu file format and I might as well run the resize command to give it a bit more storage space. Then we can add a new virtual machine in vert manager, select import existing disk image and find the converted image. Generic Linux will do for the operating system type, but then when it comes to the resources, I will give it some extra RAM and 4 CPU cores because we are doing nested virtualization and all the nodes we create within EVE will be limited to what is available to EVE. Then I don't even need to customize the installation, I can just rename it and click finish. And it started. The login credentials are root with the password eve. I will keep the same password and all the default configuration settings. After a reboot, I can take the IP address displayed by the VM and enter it into a web browser. There I can type in the credentials admin with password eve and create a lab. But of course, when we try to add a node, there is nothing available apart from virtual PC, so next we need to add some nodes to EVE. Back on the EVE website go to documentation, how to and scroll down to Microtik. There you have some basic instructions on how to add a CHR that we should roughly follow. Open microtik.com slash download and find cloud hosted router. There we want to get the raw image for the latest version 7. Next we can create a folder named microtik-7.7 on eve vm. The important thing is that the name starts with the word microtik without any caps. The numbers just represent the version we are adding. Then we can copy the chr image to this folder and rename it at the same time to hda.qco2 so that eve recognizes this image. Once that's been copied, we also need to run the fix permissions command and then if we go back to EVE web interface, we should be able to add a CHR node. I will also add a network for a simple topology, where the CHR is going to control our access to real world networks for another end device. Under add an object, choose network and select management brackets cloud zero as the type. This will allow any nodes connected to this network to get an IP assigned by the DHCP server running on our host device. Next, I will go to the instruction page for adding a Linux image. The steps there are pretty much the same as for CHR. The only differences are in the naming of files and folders. For the image, I will head over to Kali.org as they have nice compact images ready for different hypervisors. Get the Quemu image and then we need to create a folder on the EVM that simply starts with Linux in small letters. The rest of the name is just for our reference. I can then SCP the extracted Kali image to our new folder, but this time the name I need to use is vertio.qcow2. Fix permissions again and now if I go back to the web interface we have the Linux option available and in fact if we had multiple Linux images saved we could select any of them from the image dropdown using their folder names. In the icon dropdown there is a cute little icon specifically for Kali Linux. Finally, I can start both nodes and configure our CHR so that Kali has access to the internet. There is a DHCP client running on Ether1 and the easiest way to give Kali an IP, a gateway and DNS is to just set up a DHCP server. 
I will give the router the IP 10.0.0.1, make an address pool accordingly and use it for a minimal DHCP server configuration. After that, I need to add a masquerade NAT rule for Ether 1 and I'm all set. Kali should now have received an IP address, a correct route, and if I open the web browser, I can access the internet as well. We have done it. Even G is running, the nodes are working, nothing crashed, and my laptop did not even catch on fire. For now.